Check out Metro Atlanta walking away with some wins after the 92nd Academy Awards, including a local man and his car. Its signature sound was featured in Ford versus Ferrari, which won an Oscar for best sound editing. And that is just one example of our area's unique contribution to Hollywood. In fact, many people now refer to Atlanta as the Hollywood of the South, but you knew that. And Channel 2 Steve Gelbach taking us on a tour of a few favorite filming spots around town. Holman Yard off DeKalb Avenue in East Atlanta is currently home to a big production. We just can't say what it is yet. The movies from all the Hunger Games to recent Bad Boys for Life all shot here. How deep you think you got in his soul? The film also used Northside Tavern. You can also see in sequels to Anchorman and Fast and the Furious. The bar fits a lot of needs. It could be a Chicago bar, it could be a New York bar, it could be a, you know, a, any dive bar in, across, the, across the world. And check any diner scene to see if it filmed at the popular Silver Skillet in Midtown. The restaurant's often used, like in this episode of Netflix's Ozark, because of the authentic look. They don't have to come in and make something look old. We are already old. The Cheshire Motor Inn in Northeast Atlanta is also easy to spot in The Mule, Clint Eastwood's recent film. Yeah, I'm ready day, okay. Another location that didn't undergo much change for the big screen is this hall and rotunda at Georgia Tech's Historic Academy of Medicine. It becomes 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue in Zombieland Double Tap. I can't White House, this is soy random. <laughs> Just look for the distinct checkerboard floors, but they did change one thing. These stairs, Jesse Eisenberg bounds down. Hey, buttercup. In real life, there are actually doors here that were taken off for the movie, and you can see there's no staircase. It was built as well, and this just now leads into a conference room. The old Macy's department store in downtown Atlanta, now the Southern Exchange ballrooms, did get transformed in Marvel's Ant Man and the Wasp. Into a restaurant where one of the iconic chandeliers gets destroyed. And I'm a turn of the century chandelier! The blockbuster Avengers Endgame also used locations around Atlanta, including the lobby of this midtown high rise. The proscenium on 14th Street doubles as Stark Industries. Oh, yeah. Even gets a Hulk smash. But don't worry, walls are now just fine. In midtown Atlanta, Steve Gelbach, Channel 2 Action News.